Hello, and welcome to the LabVIEW IV upcasting and downcasting demonstration. My name is Sean Shaw from National Instruments. IV drivers make it easy to programmatically command instruments from numerous vendors. This demonstration will illustrate just how easy it is to use IV drivers in the LabVIEW environment while utilizing both up and down casting. Now, in order to follow along with this demonstration, please download the Agilent AG 3446X IV driver from ni.com slash idnet. Also, please download any minimum required software, which is listed at the bottom of the driver download page if you've not already done so. For assistance finding and installing the software, just refer to the IV Getting Started PDFs on the Resources tab of the IV Foundation website. To begin, let's take a look at an IV class demo that acquires a simple simulated reading from a DMM. In LabVIEW, you can tell we're working with a class driver because each VI is green and the VI banner has a generic class prefix at the top, IV DMM. Specific driver VIs are blue and we'll see that in a minute. When we demo upcasting and downcasting, we will mix calls to class drivers which are green, and specific drivers, which are blue. For the time being, let's focus on just the green class VIs. As our code exists now, it is able to command any IV-supported digital multimeter. The first function opens a session and initializes our simulated instrument. You may have noticed that we send a text string which sets simulate equal to one. This allows us to enable simulated results. Other IV driver features, such as state caching, are also enabled by modifying this text string. Also, we are using a logical name, which has previously been configured in Measurement and Automation Explorer, or MAX. This dropdown will populate with all of the logical names already configured on your computer. The logical name is used with class drivers and adds a layer of abstraction, so the code is not tied to a specific instrument. Next, we configure the instrument, take a reading, modify the range attribute to 10, take another reading to show the change, close our session, and report any possible errors. Now let's run our code. As expected, when we run the code, we receive two readings from our simulated instrument, and the second reading is within a range of plus or minus 10 volts. Now let's demonstrate casting. What is casting? Casting is the integration of specific driver and class driver commands, as well as any attribute changes. This integration may cause problems or require additional steps with other development environments, but LabVIEW makes up and down casting seamless. Customers may choose to send commands which all instruments in a class will respond to with green VIs, or their application may call for some specific capability of one family of instruments, utilizing blue VIs. For example, maybe the purchase DMM can take a voltage measurement from a thermocouple, and knowing that the application is using a type K thermocouple, this specific instrument can calculate the measured temperature, but the class driver cannot perform this temperature calculation instruction. Customers could then use all class VIs in their code and use the specific driver temperature calculation VI as well. In our demo, we will not be using thermocouples, but we will use a call to a blue specific driver to configure our instrument. First, we will initialize our instrument, downcast to the Agilent AG3446X specific driver call, which configures the instrument, and then upcast to our DMM class driver before continuing with our code. The point is that upcasting and downcasting is seamless and users do not have to worry about mixing class or specific driver VIs. We can also downcast our attributes. Our property node is currently labeled IVDMM. There is a range attribute which belongs to the class driver and there's a separate range attribute which belongs to the specific driver. This label lets us know which attribute we're actually changing to avoid confusion. If you would like to use a specific driver's attribute instead of the class driver attribute, you may do so by right-clicking on the property node 
and selecting downcast to class. And then you can select the name of the specific driver whose attribute you wish to change. Now the property nodes label has changed to AG3446X. This change will not affect the readings we receive, only the specific attribute will be modified and used within our code. Now let's run our code. As expected, we received two simulated readings within the appropriate ranges. This concludes the IV upcasting and downcasting demonstration for LabVIEW. I hope you've been able to see how easy it is to integrate class and specific driver calls within the LabVIEW environment. For additional information, including videos, tutorials, and more documentation, you can go to the IV Foundation website at www.ivfoundation.org. Thank you.